Hebrew chapter 4 verse 12 we read like this in the word of God Indeed the word of God is living and active sharper than any et, any two edged sword piercing until it divides soul from spirit joints from marrow it is ab- able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart the speciality of the word of god is it will pierce it will bring some pain it will bring dis- disturbance in some people it will create lots of disturbance what a, what kind of disturbance it will judge your thoughts and intentions of your heart it will judge your thoughts and intentions of your heart my dear brothers and sisters it is not going to judge your intellectual capacities but it is judging your thoughts and intentions of the heart when the word of god touches you when when you read the word of god suddenly you will realize all what you were doing all these days were wrong suddenly when the word of god comes to you suddenly you will realize all whatever that we were speaking was wrong all whatever that we were thinking was wrong and also we will be directed in the right path that is why sometimes it is against our own desire and will when we are living according to our taste and our plans and our will then suddenly god take control of us through the word of god god takes control of our thoughts and actions that is called kingdom of god how do we know the kingdom of god comes to you when god takes control of your thought when god take control of your intentions when god take control of your actions when god take control of your relationship with your family that is when we can say the kingdom of god has come therefore my dear brothers and sisters before you do any action any even the words that you speak make sure whether the king likes it or not because you are part of a kingdom therefore the king should be happy with your words the king should be happy with your thoughts king should be happy with your intentions the king should be happy with your actions only then we can say the kingdom of god is come into me just look into your everyday life at the end of the day just look back to your life how did you behave on that day is the king happy is your lord happy about everything that you have done and spoken is the lord happy if you are able to introspect examine your conscience that itself is a clear sign that you are surrendering yourself to the kingdom of god that itself is a clear sign you are a, you are a child of the kingdom because you don't want to do anything that hurts the kingdom the king you don't want to speak anything that hurts the king therefore if any one of you are listening to me if you are so careful about every word and every action and every thought and every intention and every relationship that you have you are so careful through all these not to hurt our lord jesus christ then it's a clear sign the kingdom of god is already established in you you are a child of the kingdom and god loves you and he's in charge of you he will guide you he will use you even through unexpected ways but it is not for your harm but for your welfare he will lead you to the right track he will lead you to the right area right ministry everything he will lead you let us thank the lord for this let us give all glory and honor to our father son and the holy spirit